A really quick observation when it comes to using AI, particularly in the realm of creative work. Now, what I'm about to say definitely applies to a lot of different industries. However, recently I have been leaning into AI pretty heavily to help me with a lot of coding tasks. So these are things like, you know, writing the backend code and just really helping me get through building some of my SaaS apps quite a bit faster. But one of the things that I've noticed in particular is I've tried to get it to generate the UI, UX, kind of the front end aspect of my apps as well, even though I've already mocked them up separately in something like Figma. One of the things that I've noticed is that it creates very clean and simplistic user interfaces, which is typically a good thing, but I've noticed that they're extraordinarily generic. And so kind of the general point, or I guess tip I wanted to offer as somebody who's been using AI pretty prolifically as a part of my development workflow specifically is to distinguish between two different types of tasks when you are leveraging AI. There's a lot of vibe coding happening right now, right? Where you just kind of tell AI, build this app for me. And it can do a pretty good job. It's gotten quite advanced at what it can actually build. The problem is that if you are having AI do a lot of the creative work, if it's doing the heavy lifting there, what you're going to end up with is the culmination of what already exists on the internet. That's another way of saying that it's going to be mediocre, right? So if you are looking to create something that is mediocre, then let AI handle all of the creative aspects. However, if you're already a pretty creative person, what you can do instead is use AI to augment your creative process. So something I like to do is I like to be very particular and think through all of my UI UX design and just use AI to help me put that together faster.